Codes based on a printed text eventually fall out of fashion. But homemade, handwritten code books, the stuff of spy movies, are essential in a time before computers, especially in times of war, when capturing an enemy's codes meant the difference between life or death. For the first three years of World War I, British and German armies slaughter each other in the mud of northern France. By 1917, Britain is desperate for help from the United States. Germany is equally desperate that America doesn't join the war. The interception and decoding of this single encrypted message is a major factor in forcing President Woodrow Wilson to declare war on Germany. In the days before computers and the World Wide Web, communicating with the world is a much slower and potentially dangerous business. At the beginning of the 20th century, uh, the world is connected together by telegraph. Uh, cables have been physically laid between countries, right across the Atlantic, across the Mediterranean to North Africa, and those are the lines of communication. There is a web across the world of these physical cables across land and under the sea, which enable countries to communicate with each other. But just like its modern counterpart, this telegraph network is open to hackers. In this case, the British government has been listening in on all German messages crossing the Atlantic since 1914. And this is where the messages end up, Whitehall in London. In 1917, this is the most secret place in Britain, a nerve center of military espionage and code breaking known as Room 40. Even though the British capture several German code books early in the war, the Germans are constantly changing them. They're using a series of very large code books containing 10,000 words and phrases numbered from 0 to 9,999. Then they encrypt them again by adding extra digits, the so-called double-decker super encipherment. Many of the German messages are routine communications between trenches and the front line concerning troop movements and supplies. But occasionally there are diplomatic messages between German embassies around Europe. These are encrypted using the diplomatic code 0075, which the British have only recently discovered and not yet fully cracked. So when a coded telegram sent from Berlin to the German minister in Mexico is intercepted in January 1917, it's a race to decode it. It's often essential when you're solving a code to try to guess the words. You're faced with a blank bunch of numbers. What do they mean? However, they don't exist in a vacuum. People have sent diplomatic telegrams for a long time. And diplomatic telegrams often begin with, I have the honor to inform your excellency. So if you have seen this in plain text, you can guess that that may be the beginning formula in code text. The first thing the code breakers of room 40 do is start looking for numbers that make up the word stop, the telegraphic method of ending sentences. They then decrypt a very high number at the end of the message, the signature of Arthur Zimmerman, the German foreign secretary. They then spot strange combinations of numbers that decode into letters which don't make sense by themselves. AR, IZ, ON, A, or Arizona, a word not listed in the 10,000 word German code book. So it's been made up phonetic of high code groups in the message. They conclude that these make up the words Texas and New Mexico. As they crack the code, the significance of the message becomes clear. Germany is proposing to support Mexico if they invade the US. As a reward, Mexico will regain control of Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. This is not only a deliberate act of aggression on Germany's part, it's also a diversionary tactic. If the US is busy fighting its neighbor, it won't get involved in the war in Europe. When faced with the evidence of the Zimmerman telegram, 
President Woodrow Wilson has no option. On April 6th, 1917, the U.S. declares war on Germany. Nineteen months later, World War I is won, due in no small part to the interception and decoding of the Zimmerman telegram. The solution of the Zimmerman telegram, probably the most important cryptogram solution of all time, brought the United States into the war, brought the United States onto the world stage, and in effect changed the entire history of the 20th century. The Germans don't discover the Allies have cracked their codes until near the end of the war, and that their plans for Mexico were doomed to failure from the start. The Zimmerman telegram was a, a ludicrous idea, really. And Mexico was never going to declare war on the United States. All of the armaments factories in the Americas were in the United States, and Germany could never supply Mexico because the Atlantic was controlled by the British Royal Navy, so they'd never get any arms or men over there in the first place. And Mexico finally didn't want back the three states it had lost. They were now largely English-speaking, Mexico was Spanish-speaking. They didn't believe they'd be able to hold on to them even if they got them, so they refused. 